are reloaded. Tactical family, man. Welcome back to the channel. Of course, my name is Tactical Mike. We are on the road to 25,000 subscribers. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now so you can be a part of the family. Let's get it. So look guys, this is my primary home defense. This is the Palmetto State Armory PX9 Chamberlain 9 millimeter. But before we get into it, YouTube, hold on. We are in a safe and controlled environment. This firearm is safety check. It is clear, no bullets, no magazine in sight, and I do not promote the sale of any firearm. This is my primary home defense. And I will say, since I first started, I have had a lot of improvements made to this bad boy. Normally when I show this, people always ask, hey, where's your flashlight, where's your flashlight? But I have a flashlight, it's, it's right there. I guess people don't realize how small it is that this is actually a compact pistol flashlight that I have on here. I'm always looking for ways to improve. I was lucky enough to have Brennite reach out to me and they sent me this amazing flashlight. Now this bad boy is something unique. You don't see stuff like this too often. That's right, that's a double headed flashlight. They call this the XP-22 Scorpion. But come on, a dual headed flashlight? I've never seen anything like that on a firearm before. So this is what we're gonna be taking a look at. Let's get into the unboxing and see what comes inside of this bad boy. Let's get right into it. Right, so we got some other products that Bren Knight offers, some tactical flashlights. There's a scorpion. What is that, a headband? That's cool. Another headband lamp. And another one, that's cool, man. So they got a whole, oh snap. They got a lot of tactical gear that Bren Knight offers. Flashlights, all kind of cool stuff, man. So this is cool. But here's the real attraction right here. The XB-22 Scorpion. Here's the flashlight. As we can see, it is rechargeable. Let me see. Oh, wow. I know the camera can't really show you, but this thing is super, super bright. Charging cable. There's a charging cable, some paperwork. That is what the Scorpion looks like. Double barrel, two flashlights at once. Let me see, hopefully I don't blind y'all. Oh yeah. All right, so we outside pitch black as we can see. So let's see how this bad boy lights up the world. Oh yeah. And we also have strobe mode. One thousand three hundred lumens. So I'm definitely feeling the design of the Scorpion. For my specific home defense build, of course, the best place for it to be would be exactly where my current flashlight is. So I'm gonna swap these out, head to the gun range, and we're gonna give this bad boy a nice testing. I wanna make sure that it does not wiggle itself or loose as I'm shooting rounds through it. I mean, of course, this is just a nine millimeter, but always wanna test your gear. So Bren Knight, let's give you the ultimate test. Let's go. So of course, as y'all guys know, we are talking about this amazing pistol light here. This is the Bren Knight Scorpion XP-22. So had to bring it out to the range to make sure as I'm shooting, it doesn't wiggle itself loose and it stays on my primary home defense option. So that's what we're gonna be out here doing at the range. As we can see, this bad boy is fully charged and we're just gonna throw some rounds through it just to see, you know, how it performs on the actual weapon of choice. On the top of the steel target, I do have a pumpkin up there. That's for a later video, but right now, let's just see what we got. Mr. Pumpkin. Check the sturdiness of the light. Didn't wiggle. 
it's still tight on here. Light still functions. I'm so glad that Bren Knight reached out to me and sent this out. You know, I definitely added this on to my home defense. So far, I'm loving this flashlight. All right, tactical family. So it's day two of testing the XP22 Scorpion. At this point, I am now confident that this specific flashlight is not going to wiggle itself loose. All right, let's take a look at our targets down here. All right, so as y'all can see, we got three targets set up down here. We got this big, giant pumpkin. We got a paper target, and I got my normal steel target. Now, I can tell you right now from the weight of it, this has a lot of internals in it. Most pumpkins are hollows, uh, are hollow on the inside, but this one, not so much. It's big and heavy, and it got a whole bunch of bumps on it. I don't know, maybe it got pumpkin herpes or something. My Lord. But let's explode this thing in the spirit of Halloween. Before I get to the pumpkin, let me get a couple rounds just to warm up on that steel target. All right, let's get tactical. Are clear all right this is the damage we did with the weapon this time like I said man there's a lot of internals on this pumpkin uh, you want some pumpkin pie hmm smells like cantaloupe that's the entrance now let's see what that exit looks like should be a lot more damage yes sir it is we know this pumpkin uh, didn't have a great day. Man, that's gonna pretty much wrap it up for today. But, you know, I am really impressed with this flashlight. The low profile, the functionality, the brightness, the way it mounts on, the security. You know, I really enjoyed shooting this flashlight. So of course, Brent Knight, I am gonna officially give you guys the TKM stamp of approval. This is something that I approve on. And as you can see, I will be keeping this bad boy on my primary home defense weapon. <sighs> Come on, man. Double barrel, that's just, that's different. Y'all want something nice, low profile, different, extremely bright, rechargeable, easy to access. Brenite XP22 Scorpion. It's the way to go. Okay, I'm reloaded. <laughs>